Sagan. Sagan to the tap. Oh, an incredible goal. Tyler Sagan with golden hands. And he's got two tonight. Jack Edwards on the call there talking about golden hands. As Tyler Sagan <laughs> said, he was excited to hear what Jack had to say. You were living that. That you picked as one of your favorite goals this season. You do have 12 to choose from. Much more by the end of this thing. Can you walk us through it, though? We'll show it to you. Just kind of walk us through how it happened because this is street hockey stuff. This seems like something you just do with your friends when you're growing up. Yeah, I think, you know, it's a little lucky, of course. Um, you know, this play really is something I've been working on is uh, getting better at, you know, D zone and neutral zone. And, uh, you know, I came back and uh, luckily got the puck off that guy. And, you know, I know Bergie's not looking at me, but I know he's going to be uh, passing my way. And, you know, lucky enough, uh, the air there and, uh, you know, it worked. I think that's how you know you're locked in when you don't mean to do these sorts of things and you're putting it top corner and you're, uh, and you're netting your first hat trick of your career in your hometown, no less. That's pretty special, huh? Yeah, it was definitely uh, it's a little bittersweet because Toronto was my you know favorite team growing up. No uh, more. No more. Um, you know, I've been in that arena many times. I can almost pick out where I've sat before growing up as a kid with my dad going to games and. Uh, you know, to you know, get even a goal in that rink was uh, very special. All right. Well, we asked uh, over the past couple of days. We asked our Twitter users over at at Nesson and at Nesson Daily to fire off some questions for Tyler Sagan. First one is from Paul Daniel, who wanted to know about your shootout strategy. He says, "How do you approach a shootout? What's going through your head?" Usually, when I approach a shootout, um, I almost pick a move in my head before I'm going to actually do it. Um, you know, we kind of get, uh, you know, the stats of the goalies before and uh, some of his tendencies. And, uh, you know, in my head, I kind of like to pick out what I want to do. And um, when I get close enough to the goalie, that's when I make the final decision. You know, it's really just a quick second decision. And uh, actually, my last two shootouts, or three shootouts, I've tried to change it up and try to do it more in reaction and not so much in my head and has been working. So it looks like I'm going back to the old days. All right, go back to what works. Uh, Bergy Baby 37 is the next user firing <laughs> off a question. Wants to know what player do you try to emulate your game after? You know you're a Maple Leafs fan. You also spent some time in Michigan. Who are you picking there? <laughs> Bergy Baby 37. Uh, <laughs> for, for right now, um, you know, I try to go off of really Bergy's style of game. Um, you know, obviously with my own little twist to it, but I like to try to be an all-around complete player like he is and one of the most you know, reliable players in the team. And if I went back to where I was growing up, my uh, you know, favorite player and player I idolized was Steve Eisenman from Detroit. Okay, now take us inside the uh, Bruins dressing room here, maybe to your own locker. Uh, three, McCag3 wants to know, what artists or songs do you listen to before games? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, you know, uh, Theory of the Dead Men, um, you know, I listen to that a lot. and. Uh, my one main song that I've really listened to since I came to the NHL is called The Catalyst. Uh, I don't know why I like it, but... The uh, Catalyst. The Catalyst, yeah, the I Catalyst. like it. I heard it for really for the first time uh, in Carolina. It was one of their warm-up warm -up songs, and um, suited, suited me, I guess. I, I just liked it, and uh, that's my main one. Okay, now, question from, my, from myself. Who has the most embarrassing music taste in that dressing room? <laughs> uh, that's a tough one. Uh, embarrassing? Maybe some of Ferentz's songs are a little... A little out there, but uh, he does have some you know, good remixes. Last question, and we got several of these. It's from T-Rex Tansy, who wants to know, quite simply, will you marry me? <laughs> hashtag ask Tyler. Hashtag I am in love with you. Hashtag. Tremendous. We got a lot of these. We see these all the time on, on signs at games. I mean, people spending the time to build these posters. It's an interesting life for, for you right now, being 19 in Boston with all these marriage proposals. <laughs> interesting. I'm not looking to really you know, settle down too quickly, but... Uh, Hey, compliment, I guess. All right, T-Rex Tanzi, you got your answer there. Not looking to settle just yet. He is 19. <laughs> All right, we are through now with our Twitter questions. Let's get to rapid fire. We're going to put you to a shootout. We're going to put a minute on the clock, right, Family Feud style. Get a minute on the clock, fire off as many as we can get just as quickly as we can. You ready to roll? Yep. Let's do this. First off, what was your best part of the day with the cup? First time my family got to hold the cup over their heads. Who has the worst Movember mustache in the dressing room? Uh, Pull yeah. <laughs> Non-Bruin you'd most like to play with? Sidney Crosby. All right, favorite hockey movie? Young blood. All right, Toronto restaurant near the Air Canada Centre. Justin Bieber, yourself, you're in there. Who gets the most autograph requests? <laughs> if I invite everyone before, uh, hopefully me. All right. You guys play soccer, pregame ritual in the hallway. Who's the best soccer player? Probably sides are crutchy. Okay, group of uh, Bruins go out, a night out on the town. Who's the guy who takes his shirt off first? No comment. All right, in <laughs> NHL 11, do you play as Tyler Sagan? Oh, if I need a little confidence boost, maybe, yeah. Do you ever build yourself up, make yourself better than you are? Yeah, I think right now I'm 225 pounds right now on that <laughs> on that NHL 11. So. All right, 225 pounds. Our last question from our sponsor, Golf Town. What's your handicap when you play golf? Uh, probably in teens, maybe around 15. And how long have you been playing? 
Couple years. Couple years. Couple years is already in the mid 80s. That's good. <laughs> Tyler Sagan joining us in studio. Thank you very much for the time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right.